Hi everyone, my name is Anu and in this video we are going to talk about the Amazon ML Summer School program. So I'm going to talk about what this program is about, how you can build your ML skills, learn from Amazon experts and you can also get a potential job opportunity through this. But to clear this, you need to be able to clear the selection round. So I'm going to talk about what the selection round is going to be about, what are the resources that you can use to prepare for this round and how you can nail this round and the application deadline is coming soon so the applications close on 31st july so please go ahead and apply fast the link is in the description and in the pin comment below and let's start with the video first let's talk about the selection test so the selection test is going to be held on 3rd august and it's typically it's a 75 minutes coding test so you'll have 20 mcq questions related to machine learning concepts like probability statistics and high level about what is machine learning what are the different types of ml algorithms so you need to know about that and if we come to the coding part that is going to be based on data structures and algorithms the difficulty level is not going to be high but they will look at people and you'll they'll look at the submission time so you need to make sure that you're solving the question fast and that all of the test case pass so let's say if a problem has 10 test cases then you need to make sure that all of it pass and so there's going to be two sections one is going to be the mcq section you'll have about 20 mcq questions and the second is going to be the programming students give this exam on 3rd august they will get a shortlisting mail if you're selected by 7th august and after that the program will start so the program starts from 9th august and you will get the selection mail on 7th august now the main part in that you have to focus for this program is that the selection test which is going to be held on 3rd august and before that make sure you apply the application deadline is just 31st july link is in the description and let's talk about how you're going to prepare for that because the time is less right so first thing that you need to prepare is going to be your ml basics so you need to know about probability statistics and you also need to know about different ml you need to know about the probability statistics now these probability statistics are going to be easy it's not going to be very tough probability you need to focus on Bayes algorithm Bayes theorem which is a very basic probability theorem that you might have probably done in your 10th class or 12th class so it's going to be that level of basic probability maths that you have to know so you need to focus on that and for statistics you need to know about mean median mode you need to know about deviations so these are some basic maths that you might have already done in your 10th standard that you will have to focus on again for this test and now if we talk about what you have to learn on the machine learning side of it you can learn it from geeks for geeks website it's a great resource that you can just go through learn high level about what are the different ml algorithms what and focus more on the q a mcq type of questions it's the best because resource that you can follow to practice these multiple choice questions then the number one website i'll suggest is sand foundry now you have about 1000 plus mcq questions here so you don't need to solve all of it but you need to focus on solving some of it so i'll link leave the link for this resource also in the description do go ahead and check it out that's the only resource that i use to get selected into this program and that's what you can use as well and i would say do definitely prepare for this round very well because the competition is going to be tough so for mcqs i would suggest that just use the sand foundry platform there you can practice questions on probability statistics and also machine learning that's a huge resource and that's more than enough coming to programming you need to focus on graphs you need to focus on dynamic programming binary search these are going to be the important topics and when i gave the selection test as well these were the topics that were asked to me so just focus on graph and dynamic programming for that and for the mcq part you can focus on the sand foundry and i would say definitely give your best shot because there can go, there could be a job opportunity at the end of this program you should diligently attend the whole program attend all of the classes all of the lectures that are going to be held this also adds a huge value into your resume so if you write that you have completed amazon ml summer school program it's going to add a good value into your resume that you have this machine learning skills and you have learned from amazon experts so in that way even if there's not a job opportunity at the end of this i would still suggest that this is a very good program that you should apply to so I hope you like this video and you understood exactly about what is going to be asked to you in the selection test which is going to be machine learning and programming and how you can prepare for that in this short period of time. So go ahead and apply now and if you like this video make sure you subscribe, comment on what is something that you didn't understand. 
and if you like this video make sure you subscribe comment on what is something that you didn't understand and also share it with your friends who are going to be preparing along with you because it's more fun when your friends are also in the program it helps you keep motivated so make sure you and your friends all of it all of you all clear this test so that's it and i will see you in my next one until then bye bye